The Tragically Hip, Canada's Band, If You Know, You Know. From 1984 to 2016, they blazed the snow-covered hills and hockey rinks of Canada, earning 50 mission caps and navigating the greasy jungles, all while making sure not to wake daddy. The amount of brilliant music this band has created over their 35-year career cannot be overstated. The first hip record that really connected with me was 1992's Fully Completely, the best album of the early 90s that you probably never heard. But for today's video, I wanted to cover the album prior, 1991's Road Apples. This is the hip's second record, and truly the first gold star record we got from them. This one doesn't get talked about as much in the overall picture of the hip, but that's changing today. But before we continue with the review, some of you may be in the comments shouting, but Sensei, aren't you going to talk about their first EP from 87? Or the debut album up to here from 89? You have to start with those first. And honestly, I love the debut EP. It's a fun little 80s Canadian romp. I particularly like songs such as Highway Girl and All Canadian Surf Club. And up to here is a solid enough first outing with a few standouts, 38 years old being a personal highlight. But in my mind, Road Apples is the hip's first bold step into the crazy and wonderful decade known as the 1990s. Little Bones is such a great opener. It hooks you in immediately with that heavy groove and Gord Downey's commanding approach to vocals. Right away, you can hear that early 90s production. Loud, aggressive, full of life. Gone are the days of thin and weak sounding records the late 80s produced. This was the type of production the hip needed and will get even better on their next album. And I can't forget to mention Robbie Baker's excellent guitar work and soloing that closes out the track. This song, along with On the Verge, Three Pistols, Born in the Water, are all excellent examples of the heavier side of this band. Twist My Arm and Fight are slower, groovy tracks that sprinkle a bit of that trademark Gord Downey humor that will be more fully on display on later albums. Fight in particular being a snarky remark about relationships. Essentially, marriage is a song. The album never really lets up, however, even when it slows down on tracks such as Long Time Running and Fiddler's Green, the former being a heartbreaking song about the end of a relationship, and the latter being an even more crushing depiction of what it's like for a mother to lose a child. These songs in particular, more than any on this album, showcase the band's ability to play and write songs that will make you feel things, and not in the angry grunt sort of way like a lot of the music of the time. Gord Downey was the kind of writer who was best at telling a story and painting a narrative with his lyrics. And the slower songs from all the entire catalog, honestly, are the hip at their best. Another favorite track of mine, Cordelia, starts off slow, but builds and builds until the chorus explodes into this heavy assault on the ears. After the aforementioned Fiddler's Green, the album closes with the soft and pleasant, the last of the unplugged gems. Originally meant to be longer, this is more of a tease to the brilliance of Fully Completely. Now you may be thinking to yourself, why does the song have a fade in and a fade out? It almost sounds unfinished. Well, to get the answer to that, let's take a trip. A trip to Saskadelphia. Released on the album's 30th anniversary, Saskadelphia are extra tracks that were recorded to be put on Road Apples proper, but didn't make the cut due to the record label not wanting the band to put out a double album. If you just can't get enough of the Road Apples album and crave more, I'd recommend the heavy and humorous Ouch and Reformed Baptist Blues. Southadelphia as a whole is a great side dish to the excellent course that is Road Apples. Now for me, the essential tracks are Little Bones, Fiddler's Green, Fight, and Cordelia. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video on the Tragically Hip and their classic 1991 album, Road Apples. If you can, give the video a like. Show your support to the channel by subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video to the channel. And don't forget to listen to Rush. And for all my fellow monks out there, don't forget to keep meditating with vinyl.